What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Sneaker Vaults. My name is Joshua Dunn. Hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are swell, man. In this episode, we will be reviewing a new balance. I don't know if this is the right way. A new balance right here. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I drop sneaker content and fashion content. Sneaker content meaning Sneaker Vault, Cortini Corner Fashion. That's the, that's that, that's just how it goes, guys. That's how it goes. So I know I haven't dropped the review in a minute. I've been dropping a lot of shorts. I've been so active on my Instagram that I always forget to be active on my um, on my YouTube, man. So my apologies, guys. My apologies. My apologies. But I'm really excited. I got a lot of shoes in store for you guys. So let's get into the sneaker. So this is the New Balance 990 V6 that I picked up from Sports Scene and I archive now. This sneaker does retail for five grand. Very, very expensive. I think that's why we've kind of seen like a little decline in New Balance purchases in South Africa, even on the resale markets. It's just due to the fact that retail is so damn expensive on these pairs. So yeah, so this is a UK tin. I love it, I love it, I love it. And this is also made in America. So I think the made in America pairs are the pairs that end up costing the most money, pretty much. So if you open the box, you can see with, with over 75 years of authentic American craftsmanship, New Balance made in USA is designed without compromise. This pair represents our unwavering commitment to those who walk their own path. Okay, so here is the shoe. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, I really love the shoe. It took me a while to get used to it. Sorry for if it's a bit dirty. Um, been wearing it. Been wearing a very, very comfortable shoe. It took me a while to get used to the shoe, if I must be honest. I think just the feel of the V6 was a lot different to the V4 and V3. So those are the new, the, those are the New Balance 990s I own, those pairs. But I think I got used to it. I really love this colorway. The craftsmanship is really good. Like with New Balances, you never ever see a stitching out of place. You never see glue marks. It's just what you pay is what you get. So let's get into the sneaker. So now we come back, now we want to talk about price points. Now, over the years, New Balance's price points have gone up, unfortunately, have gone up. And now we're sitting at 5,000 Rand for this pair of sneakers. So I wanted the blue, I think it was the, the purple 998, and those were 5'2", which is extremely expensive for a sneaker. So it also, it also comes to me that, that conversation comes to me like, is sneaker culture dying because people are, are too afraid to spend money on sneakers? So I know when sneaker culture was booming in SA, no one was afraid to spend cash. So I think a problem that we're facing right now, big problem, is this price point and how much you're paying on customs and how much you're paying on tax. And that's why these things, these shoes like this are not moving. Because I remember when the first 550 dropped, guys, they were cues. They were cues. And it wasn't even a fire colorway be that it was just that people wanted the sneaker so badly and it was affordable i think i paid, i think we paid 1899 or 2299 which is reasonable i mean like now it's just gone up you're getting jordans that are going jordan ones that used to be 1899 are now going for 3399 so it's a very it's a very um tough situation to to be in but i really do like this sneaker i think it's a really really lovely shoe if you guys have any v6s please tell me what you like what you dislike about the shoe one thing i would say one thing i do dislike about the shoe is just like the way it sits on my foot uh, like i said i had to get used to it but now i kind of like it and yeah man i think it's a dope shoe this part over here I also have to get used to it, how thick it is over here. I think that's one thing that I have to get used to. But all in all, I give it a, I give this a good eight out of ten, just for design, craftsmanship. The suede is beautiful, the leather is beautiful, the mesh material is really beautiful. So it gets an eight out of ten on the sneaker vault meter. Let me know how you guys feel about the new silhouettes of the 990, the V6. Do you prefer the V3, V4 over the V6? 
Let me know in the comment section. This is Joshua Dad. I'll be back. I'll be back with another video. Peace and love.